beautiful people welcome back to another vlog i'm studying ayurveda and i've gotten so many questions both on my instagram as well as on this channel on which books to read how to start learning about ayurveda so i'm going to share with you some of my go-to books on another note i sound very congested right now and that is a story for later on in the vlog but for those of you who are just here for the ayurvedic books look no further if you're new here and you're like wait wasn't she studying from med school? What's going on? Make sure you watch back to a couple of my other videos to get the full scoop on what is happening. So this first one is called Eat, Taste, Heal. So this is the first book that I got and it's just about the basics of Ayurveda. Also lots and lots of recipes. If you wanted to learn about cooking, this is definitely one to take a look at as well as this one like i have so many books here to show you but this one's called ayurvedic cooking for self-healing it's by dr vasant lad and his wife usha lad dr vasant lad is one of the pioneers alongside like deepak chopra and david frawley who brought over ayurveda from the east to the west and so he actually has an ayurvedic school i actually bought one of his audiobooks on audible I think it's just called Ayurveda for self-healing or something like that. And it's just this cute audiobook, and he narrates it. And so if you're more of an audio learner, definitely go through Audible and find Dr. Vasant Lad. Another one that is like a little bit more comprehensive that definitely goes over a lot of the basics of Ayurveda is called Ayurvedic Healing. It's a comprehensive guide by Dr. David Frawley. He's from the West and he went out to the East and learned under esteemed Ayurvedic practitioners and doctors and brought over the knowledge that he learned there over here. This is one of his many books. And he also wrote this other one called The Yoga of Herbs, which I have been going through. And it's just about Ayurveda, but also the principles of the herbs. So if you want to know more about like herbs in Ayurveda and the different properties and how these qualities are like maintained and how they're measured and how they're shared and how they're used in the body, I would definitely go for this one. There are also a lot of really, really pretty pictures. I'm a sucker for pictures and graphics. So along with these books and the audiobook by Dr. Vasant Lad, which I mentioned, I would also recommend if you have time to watch this. It's like an hour and 45 minutes. It's a documentary and it's free on YouTube. And it was recommended to me in our basic principles class. So the first class that I took on Ayurveda in my program to just watch and get a feel for Ayurveda. So those are the books that I have read through. And I actually, use these books to cook in the kitchen as well so they do have information about ayurveda as well as some tips jumping into ayurveda and making your whole lifestyle ayurvedic from zero to 100 is not realistic personally there are so many ayurvedic habits and things that i still need to add to my lifestyle as well that i'm slowly incorporating however they are really good resources to be able to start so these are the books that i recommend and i hope that that helps for you as a Filipino American, being able to use a dishwasher as an adult has been so freeing, so gratifying. Just to speak on my congestion, so I came down with some kind of flu, not the vid. I tested a couple times and it's negative. The rest of my family has also been afflicted with some kind of flu. So it started, of course, with the kids, but it basically spread like wildfire through my whole family. So since last Friday up to even today, I've been experiencing headaches, nasal and sinus congestion, and some like sore throat. And so that's why I sound super uber congested now. <laughs> Although there is a small part of me that's like, oh my gosh, like this congestion, this like raspy voice, it's like a little sultry, it's a little cute. It's also not that cute to not be able to breathe through my nose properly. <laughs> And the scoop on Kiara is that nothing was broken. I think there was like a little muscle tear or abscess or something, but oh, okay. <laughs> She's already feeling better. She's not limping like she was last week. We just have to give her hind leg, her left hind leg, a little bit of rest for like two more weeks. 
What are you all excited about, baby? Good girl. It's like, no, there's no offense to Costco. It's already three o'clock and I can't believe that time has gone by so fast. Basically, I just had a coaching session and I had a nutrition session and I do this thing in between each session. Um, I filmed it just so you can see, but I actually like to shake off any other emotions that I might have picked up from sessions. I'll like do a big full body shake and it, it feels so good and I feel so refreshed afterward. I'm gonna go take Kiara out for a walk and do some journaling. I call this my self-development time. So really getting a little bit introspective and having some like quiet, non-communicative times in my day. Um, I didn't film it, but I was either on the phone today, meetings, or kind of cleaning things up. I don't know, just being productive, and I just want to have a little bit of time where I'm not productive before I have to jump into being productive again. So you guys know that I love eating a mostly whole food plant-based diet because we need a little bit of fun up in here, especially with all the new technology coming out with like Beyond Meat and Gardein and just like fun stuff that I thought I would never be able to get as a vegan. I'm not getting as a vegan, but on a regular basis, mostly whole plant-based foods because I know that's what makes me feel good. Given how different soil quality is and how it can be pretty hard to measure, there's no doubt that there are some nutrients that are just a little bit harder for vegans to get, which is why I love today's sponsor, Compliment. Complement Essential addresses all the hard to get nutrients on a plant-based diet and was created by plant eaters for plant eaters like me and maybe also like you. It contains all the essential nutrients that we need on a plant-based diet. The big three, the most important ones that I've talked about before on my channel are vitamin B12, vitamin D3, as well as long chain fatty acids like DHA, but it also contains selenium, iodine, zinc, vitamin K2, and magnesium. Other than the fact that each batch is third-party tested and developed through a transparent production process, I also love that every order made on the website plants trees around the world, supports sanctuary animals, and is carbon offset. So if you're interested in trying Compliment out, you can use my code for a discount in the link below. And you can also go to the website for more information. You are alone. You wanna go potty? Let's go potty, come on. Oh my gosh, it's so hot. I just finished making dinner and while I was making dinner, I was actually on a call, um, kind of working on a school project with one of my classmates and Luke has been eating by himself. He started alone. But while I was in the meeting, I made some Brussels sprouts, some mushrooms that are no longer here, some rice, some tofu, and this is the finished product. And I also put some of this hummus on top rice, greens on the bottom, mushrooms, tofu, and some hummus. Am I sitting next to you? Nah, nah, that's stupid. I want to see your face. Yeah, what? <laughs> So this concludes the vlog. Today is actually a way different day than when the rest of this vlog was filmed, but I realized I never closed the vlog and Luke and I are pretty much doing the same thing that we do after dinner, which is play with Kiara. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and if you have any other questions or any specific topics that you'd like for me to talk about in my upcoming videos, make sure you leave them in the comments below. 
If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up so that YouTube can send more people who might like this kind of content to this channel. I hope you're having a wonderful morning, noon, day or night, and I'll see you next time. Bye.